Now let's talk about level curves. So it says, given a function f, x, y, and a number c in the range of f, a level curve of a function of two variables for the value c is defined to be the set of points satisfying the equation f of x, y equals c. So that's just saying my z is going to equal c. Um, so look at this problem below. It says, find the level curve at the indicated value of c to visualize the given function. So now, if we take a look at this, this is supposed to help us to think about what this function is doing. Now, keep in mind here, my z is actually going to equal 1. Or, I should put a 2 here, too. So we'll do a couple. So we'll do 1 or 2. Okay, so that means I'm just going to plug in 1 for my f of x, y. That's what that says. So when I plug in 1 for it, I get x squared minus y. And then if I solve this for y, and I think about this in a two-dimensional way, I would get y equals x squared minus 1. So now if I was to graph this, this is really just a shift of the parabola that I'm accustomed to down 1. So let's graph this. So again, this is just down 1. So I'm going to go down to where 1 is at down here. And then when I go to the left, it's going to go up one, so it's going to be here. And then this one's going to be here. And I'm just trying to pick a few points here so I can actually do a halfway decent graph here. Then if I went over two, it should go up four, so that's going to put me at three. Since uh, I'm down one. So there it is. Now I'm going to graph this. Now keep in mind, this is the uh, xy plane, so it's like I'm looking down at the z, so the z is coming up from the center here, if we think about this three-dimensionally. So this looks like a parabola when I look down at it from the z. Now let's take a look at another one here. Let's do another graph, um, and that's for the c equals 2. So now I'm just going to plug in 2 uh, for my z there, or my fxy. Okay, so that's going to be x squared minus y. And when I move this around and solve, I'm going to get y equals x squared minus 2. So that's going to be the next one. Let's graph that one now. We'll put it on the same graph. Now that would be the graph of, of the purple one there. So now we could keep doing this. And if I did 3, that would put me down to negative 3 there. And I could keep going with this process. And uh, just the third one to kind of give an idea. Now remember, I'm looking down at this thing, and the Z is coming from the center here towards me, like out of the screen. So that's what we're actually looking at here. I did another thing, too. I want you guys to take a look at these visuals of the actual graph and kind of see what's really going on here, um, if you can't see already. So there's that first one. This is the pink one here. That's this one here. And that is just, if you see it, sitting right here. And if, because remember, we're looking down at this. So this is what this looks like here. So that's that first parabola we see. Now take a look at this. Now here's the other one placed right on top of it. And that's the purple one here. That's this one here. So that's sitting in the same way. But notice it sits back a little more. It sits back another one. So that actually goes back two. And if you look at the previous one, that one actually only goes back one. So that's where that's coming in at, and that's where this is at here. It goes down one. So that's really what we're doing when we create these traces. Now, three-dimensionally, this isn't too bad. We can figure it out for the most part. We could graph it even if we needed to. Um, but where this really comes in handy is when we actually go four-dimensional because now we're talking about these three-dimensional level curves, and that's supposed to explain something four-dimensionally. So that's where the beauty of this kind of comes in at. Three-dimensionally, yes, we're fine. We can actually graph all that stuff. But 4D, uh, we're not there. So when I go back and forth, you can actually see it move with this one. I think that's kind of cool how you can see that it goes back further. All right, well, that's it. We had enough fun with this one.